yeah. at the time of famine mm. in the region, and just earlier we were talking about some work that's happening in Sudan as well. Following his departure from Islamic Relief in 2008, he founded the Muslim Charities Forum and the Humanitarian Forum, which seeks to foster partnerships and cooperation amongst humanitarian and charitable organisations across the globe. Further still, Dr. Hani founded Zakat House to aid the growth of new charities and is also currently the chairman of the Muslim Charities Forum, which aims to improve British Muslim charities' contributions to international development. So it's an absolute honour to have you here and to speak to us today. Over to you, Dr. Hani. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah wa sallam wa rasulullah. Honored to be here again after COVID. Because COVID is a landmark in our life, whether we like it or not. Alhamdulillah we survived it and we'll survive other epidemics or pandemics, inshallah. Why I am wearing a suit which is more than 25 years old today. Come here. And I don't accept no for an answer. I'm wearing, I'm coming to high level meeting. I'm wearing a suit, which is, I can't tell, 25 or 30 years old. I found it yesterday. I decided to wear it today. Why? Maybe it's an anniversary, it's the first time. It's Come and tell them. Come and tell them. Speak up loudly. Maybe it's an anniversary. Maybe anniversary of my wedding? Possibly. Maybe. Um, and it's this anniversary, which is Bosnia, I think. No, 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 no. Not no. that one? Maybe a wedding anniversary. No, no, no. Workplace anniversary. No, no, no. Because of this meeting. No, no. Anyway. New beginnings. Can help you. Thank you. <laughs> Can help you. Anybody else? Think outside the box. Sometimes you don't have to have a box because you make the boxes. Why I'm wearing it? To see if it fits. See if it fits. It fits. There's not a reason. I'm just. I'm. I'm very serious. Why? I should be elegant like this gentleman who wants to become a movie star. <laughs> you see? You got it? Why? And the nose have it's, it's, it's straight from the back, yeah, it's old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Yes? Huh? Comfort. 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 Sometimes you need to read my mind. <laughs> when I ask questions, you need to go to my mind and say, if I say yes, it's no. If I say no, it's yes. You want it to feel young. Huh? You want it to feel young at 25 years old. You had a young Very good, but not the answer. Now, how does it look? It looks good. Yeah. Looks good. That's okay. That's what I want. He's not complimenting it. He's not actually, but it's... Because uh, when I looked at the mirror... I found it still having a value. I am wearing it to let me and you to understand the value of the people who become old, but they say have value for the community and value for the society. Never, never ever in anybody else's life undermine an elderly, okay, who has an experience. Who might have been a cleaner in Penny Appeal, or a porter, or a security guard, and become old man, or old woman, you will say, oh, they are outside the technology era. They are not savvy enough. They are, they are, they are. If you say they are, they are, they are, it means that you are not. You are not a leader. You are not somebody who has the value 
to accommodate the community with you, the diversity of the community with you, and you have not got the value to understand the value of the people who were with you when your organization were nothing, were starting, and no recognition. Once upon a time, I went to somebody called Habib Bank, some bank. And because at that time we were very small organization, a little room, small room, or no room. We started with no room, by the way, just donation box. The manager in some part in Birmingham was Spark Hill, Spark Brook, what, what do you call it? Yeah, the, the, the Sparky. And, uh, and he was not f- happy to meet me because I don't have money. I didn't have money. And who is this man coming to me? Because I want to have some donation. The same manager, a few years later on, he came to knock my door to ask me to open a bank account in his bank. They didn't understand the value of the individual, like H, U, H, and every one of you, who has the drive, or the vision, the commitment, the dedication, but not the financial resources. Financial resources is one of many. For us, here, young men and women, have to realize how did we start a civilization? An idea. An idea. At the back of the mind of a man or a woman, there becomes a collective group, groups of people to nurture the idea like a tree. And my reminder to myself and to each one of you that each one of us is a fruitful tree. مثل كلمة طيبة كشارة طيبة أصلها ثابت. وفرعها في السماء في السماء تؤتي أكلها كل حين بإذن ربها. You are the good word. You are a good word. The good word is like the good tree. But you know, each and every one of us in this room is a good tree. Incredibly good tree. Bearing, it is multiple fruits. Every year, from its branches at different seasons. Each branch of such a tree have different fruits at different seasons. This is the ability of a man and a woman to develop his or her community. It's a never-ending story. It's a non-stop mission for each and every one. Like such a tree a good tree cannot stop bearing different fruits at different seasons. That's you. It's not the money. That's what I'm saying. Money comes to the people who have the heart not to have the technology only. Many people have technology, have nice speeches, and glamorous, 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 or fantastic board but they cannot attract the community. Because the community should feel the pulse of the heart of each individual first. We should be connected to the creator of humanity first. Then if, if the creator will see the people who are in need love us, he will connect us. The satisfaction of your Employer, sister, there is one satisfaction. Her Arabic name is satisfaction. Is that right? Thank you. If the landlord of this building or the employer of each one of you is not happy, Allah will never be happy with you. You know who are your landlord here? And who are your employer? Such an individual, young boy or a girl, who is miserably looking because he has running nose, barefoot, no shoes. 
bath clothes, sometimes naked or homeless. He or she is your employer. Never ever come and tell me I have the million, so what? But you don't have the heart of such a miserably looking young orphan or young widow or victims of rape. Like what I'm wearing this uh, flower of Srebrenica. Love and peace. The youngest individual who was raped was at the age of four. And this was reported 1995 in The Guardian by a journalist, which was not a Muslim. So here we have to remind ourselves, who are we? You have been chosen by Allah, my lady, to put you on the right track to save you in this life and the life to come. If your employer is happy with you. Are we making our employer happy? Or are we making our managers happy? We can fool our managers. We can fool our employers. But we cannot fool the creator of both. Who will make the connection. And the connection is protection. If we connect, we protect. But connect with whom? Connect with the right people, to the right message, to, um, to accomplish the right mission. We live in this life once. 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 And our life will never be able more than a second or a minute of one day in the life to come. Because one day before Allah is 1,000 years of what we count. Are you willing to live for 1,000 years like Prophet Noah? Yes? Yes? Give her the job. <laughs> <laughs> so you are a prophet now. For 1,000 years? A bit long. A bit long. <laughs> very, very ambitious. <laughs> and the day before Allah in another verse. It's 50,000 years of what you count. How about the life? How many lives in our life? Life on earth, life underneath earth, and life on the straight path to meet Allah. Then the life in heaven or the life, a'uzubillah, in hellfire. Four stages of different lives in our life. But the investment only will be done on our first life. If we lose it, we lose the rest. If we gain it, we gain the rest. You know somebody from Australia, what was his name? The one who died with cancer. Dang man who has Salam organization. Ali Bana. Ali Bana was extremely son of a billionaire, or multi-millionaire. Had everything. But at the last moment of his short life on earth, he discovered himself. He discovered his employer. He traveled the whole world to be with the employer, to save him. And they gave up everything back to the community, back to the employer that he was employing him. So Ali himself, may Allah bless him, his soul was not the owner of the fund. The fund is coming to us as a test. If I am a rich man or a rich woman, Allah provided me with all this wealth to share it. Because we care for others, not to keep it with ourselves, because we need to be giving it to somebody else that they are not the right people. So the money we have is not our money. The organization money is not the organization's money. We are entrusted to look after it, to invest it for the employer. 
two that's why the one who entrusted us you know the lucky ones brothers and sisters I won't say I love you can I say that I love you too no not you <laughs> <laughs> Because I know that he would say, he would say that. <laughs> I love you three, four, and five. Six, seven, and eight. Ah, I need me to forget what I was talking about. <laughs> we are lucky. If our employers will make us servants to serve him and her. The employment is about how much we love and how much we care and how much we give and how much we think about others. This is the employment. The employment is not a job description by, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it is the department called? HR. HR. Uh, no, it's not. Um, the, 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 the job description is inside your heart. If you do not if we do not write it rightly, we fail even if we raise the maximum amount of money on earth. Because our job is satisfaction. Satisfaction of the people who are helpless. The woman would love to save the lives of their children, but she cannot protect them because her husband died and she became homeless or refugee. Or displaced. She's scared. The woman in America, Latin America. The woman in actually Democratic Republic of Congo, the highest trip of young women on earth is in DRC. Oh, I know that majority of the country is not Muslims, but that does not stop us from helping such a young girl and protecting her from being raped and draped and draped. This is the love that we talk about. It's not a per diem. It's not a pay rise. It's not a job description being put by the HR. If the job description has been made by you because you love to accomplish a mission that you have been appointed to accomplish it by him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the message of today. That's why I'm wearing an old suit, which if you sell it, I'd get five pounds, two pounds, or three pounds. It has a value. It has a value of the culture of the people. It has the value of the value of the value of the people of that time. The value of the means of life that we saw at that time. The value of the philosophy of thinking of the people who were around that. At that time. The word value. It's not something that you write, but it is something that you live through. The word value, the word value is about you as somebody who everybody in the community can see you and love you because they trust you. Not because you have a very nice speech. Not because you are very rich. Not because 
that are highly educated, the word the value is how can you give before you take. Give what you have to get what you want. If we don't give what we have, we can't get what we want. And this is life. And this is the life of any community worker. Of not being born stars or icons or role models. But the journey of all the prophets, peace be upon all of them, from Adam, peace be upon him, to his children, till Muhammad, Jesus, Moses, everybody. It was a journey of a struggle, of suffering, of torture, of displacement, of deprivation, of being called names and others. But they have done it for us. That's why we love them forever. And that's why they will live with us forever. That's why we follow their mission forever. Your mission and your work and your message is about to complement and complete the teaching or to apply the teaching of such prophets and messengers of God. Don't listen to me, but listen to the teachers. Because the teachers were guided by Allah. I could be guided by them, unfortunately. This is coming back to conclude, because I don't know how long, what else I, I, I conclude. Most of the people that we are dealing with are very vulnerable. Because they are either children or women looking after children, or lonely women or elderly, or sick people, or disabled. You are entrusted to be their custodian. Don't overpower them by the wealth of money that you have in the hand, which is not your money, not the organization money. It is their money. It is their money. It is their money. The more I spend, here, the less the money goes there. The more I touch it myself from building partnership with other organizations, the more I overspend from my money on something which could be saved if I have this kind of partnership. And to conclude, to say, I'm very honored. I'm proud to be with you to here today because I saw the beginning of Penny Appeal, and I'm seeing the good tree of Penny Appeal, what I would like to see, a sustainable, productive product of Penny Appeal, which is coming from each branch of the tree. مثل كلمة طيبة شجرة طيبة أصلها ثابت فروعها في السماء Your organization is a good tree with many branches growing in the width of the sky. You know when the root is in the depth of earth and the branch in the width of the sky, you can see how magnificent your tree is and how fruitful your tree is is and how beautiful the fruits of your tree are focus only during your mission on the employer and the one who granted you this job to serve the employer my dream to conclude is to you and me become servant to rise we rise, we elevated 
to the level of being servants. Thank you very much. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you for everything. Assalamu alaikum. Ya Allah. La ilaha illallah.